Hello and welcome to Outlook Bibliophile. Uh, our guest today is uh, Dr. B. N. Suresh, the space scientist. Uh, and we have with us a, a fascinating little book. Not little really, it's a big coffee table book. Isro in Pictures. Uh, it's been put together painstakingly and lovingly by three people. P.V. Manoranjan Rao, Dr. B.N. Suresh, and V.P. Balagangadran. All three veterans of ISRO. Uh, there's quite a big uh, story behind this effort. Uh, and that's what we'll be talking to Dr. Suresh today. Uh, welcome, sir. It's, it's a great pleasure talking my, my, to you. My pleasure, too. Uh, this book is in pictures what you did a few years ago uh, from Fishing Hamlet to Red Planet, an exhaustive history of ISRO. Uh, just take us through through these two, the first the text and now the coffee table book. Yeah, uh, you know our intention was to really record the history of uh, ISRO from almost birth till today, uh, how it has progressed, what are the various major events and how we have really progressed in various activities. That was the whole intention. And uh, the first book essentially is uh, in terms of uh, various stories from the beginning till now. Uh, that also includes some of the interviews with Saraba, which was all recorded much earlier and uh, with uh, Dhawan much earlier and also the people who have wetted their hands and who are responsible to various activities uh, over a period. Uh, we went to them, sought their help in really authoring the particular uh, activity and we compiled them and uh, that's how the, the first book of uh, Fishing Hamlet to Red Planet took birth. All right. And at the same time, we also had an intention of uh, translating all of them in a pictorial forum and bring it as a coffee table book. All right. And uh, this book is the result of that. All right. From what I understand, you a lot of the pictures here have come from the personal albums of uh, ISRO folk over the years. You know, it has taken full five years for us to really reach this particular stage. Uh, for the simple reason that uh, it's not easy to get photographs, pictures, which depicts uh, the entire history from the day one till today. Yes. And uh, we also wanted to put them chronologically from the beginning till today. Yes. You know, that's why we have, you would have seen in the book that uh, we are divided as... Uh, uh, Sara Boy's uh, vision, then Dhawan Sera, yes. then rocketry, then spacecraft, then uh, going through the industry, people, the application, like that we compartmentalized the various activities and each one of them we have recorded uh, the chronologically how it has progressed. Right. Now, it becomes important for us to really tell the story without missing any link. How do we pick up the right pictures? Right. That's where we have to depend on uh, the archives of uh, various ISRO centers and uh, headquarters. But then uh, we could not get the kind of exciting personal pictures where people are involved. Yes, yes. So that's where we have to dip in and then collect them over a period from several, several of our ISRO employees with whom we have contact. We got them, we selected, we collected uh, around 2000 plus uh, photos right. of different kinds and ultimately brought down to 370 putting them chronologically to depict the uh, story of Isra Chile. So a lot of people came came forth and with, from, you know, from their uh, yes, I think, albums. Yes, we, wherever we went and requested, uh, they were quite helpful and uh, whatever they had, they brought it out and uh, from that we picked up. Only difficulty is, you know, some of them are really in a stage where you can present it in the book. Yes. Some of them are really not in a stage where you can't really transform into a good picture. Yes. We had these kinds of difficulties. 
and also it should uh, synchronize with the story that we are building you can't yes. simply put some half a dozen photographs and build story that's right it has to go in a, a synchronized manner with the story that we are trying to build right and um, at this point i must acknowledge that uh, uh, the greatest contribution done in preparing this book is dr p v manoranjan rao who has uh, tremendous flair in writing history books and uh, i would say that the whole credit should go to uh, dr p v manoranjan rao along with the support by balagangadhar he, he is a chronicler of isro more or less yes you know he has written uh, so far four such books on history of rocketry right. history of isro and uh, the third book was our uh, red planet and the third one fourth one is this uh, coffee table book all right our reports uh, isro uh, some of the pictures at least a couple of them are uh, so well known i mean almost everybody has seen it. the the cone the rocket cone being shifted on a bicycle is an iconic picture similarly is the uh, magnetic text <coughs> test being done on a bullock cart but there are some lot of pictures which you say nobody's even isro people haven't seen before you are right in fact there are a good number of photographs which are quite exciting and i'm pretty sure that even many of our isro colleagues not only present generation even the older generation they won't have seen some of these photographs right. so we are very happy that we are able to bring in here and then make it as a part of our story and it's quite exciting and at the same time you know pictures speak volumes that's right yes rather than go on writing the story yes and uh, you know for example the red planet it takes a lot of effort and time to read and understand yes whereas you sit for about half an hour and uh, just go through the pages i'm sure you will understand how what all have happened over a period yes um, and uh, this took a few years to uh, compile and put together i told you the time we visualized and started it has taken five long years before we could really get it printed and turn out the book and that too it has happened in my opinion because we had a target to meet that's right and that uh, centenary celebrations of vikram sarabhai was celebrated on 12th of august that's right 2019 at ahmedabad and we must make sure that this book is released on that day <laughs> right. that put us tremendous pressure in the last 3 to 4 months before the celebration right. and that made it possible right. but for that target possibly it would have taken a uh, couple of more years <laughs> <laughs> right what was isro like in 1969 when you walked through these gates 1969 uh we did not have too many programs like we have today uh you know only program was uh, there was a we were at a definition stage of uh, slv3 for which right. kalam was identified right. as the project in fact that to happen little later not uh, when i joined all right uh when i joined uh, there were uh, you know the then sarabhai was there when i joined all right uh, he died only 1971 wow. december yes. in tiruvannapuram yes and uh, he sort of uh, seeded very many activities that are needed for the rocketry uh, like propulsion then control then mechanical engineering things like that and a lot of people really develop various things simultaneously he also brought right. some kind of competition amongst people so that the development takes place right. much faster than what one one would have right. envisaged similarly he had a thought process that the activity on satellite also has to be seeded right and he had created one small group called space systems division at vikram sarabhai space right. center right. we did not have any of the other centers what we have today everything was only in tumba and uh, that is the birthplace of isro actually right, right. but then and prl of course was uh, prl of course right. prl of course uh, everything came out of prl right so you're also the chancellor of uh, iist um, space science and uh, technology at trivandrum uh, what's isro like now for uh, a young young person in, in their 20s uh, jo- joining up Uh, you know we take uh, i think on the average about uh, 180 to 200 uh, youngsters every year into the organization all right and uh, we started uh, iast indian institute of space science and technology 
essentially to get the quality human resources yes who are well trained who are exposed to the space activities something like 35 to 40% of our intake through IAST right that was the idea with which we started right and so far it has fed fairly good number of uh, students right to our program and right. they have been contributing very well and isro in many ways has remained the same organization that um I and mean, what do these pictures actually show the trans- one of course the transition of a uh, of a fledgling outfit in uh, in the late 1960s and to now a big uh, uh, a big institution but be a, from a people point of view what do these images actually tell us basically this book depicts the <clears throat> story of isro from the day one beginning till date how it got evolved how various things have progressed so what we have done is we have sort of classified them into a number of chapters and for example uh, sara bai as a dreamer how he initiated various programs so what yes. were his dreams then after his death uh, excepting for a very brief period where menon was the chairman yes. but then dhawan took over yes dhawan gave the very good organization structure for the entire isro yes. and whatever organization structure he gave to isro i must say that even today we continue with that yes. excepting little changes here and there which is demanded by the growing systems otherwise the core remains one and the same there's a f- uh a fascinating photograph in in the in that uh, in the book um uh, vikram sara by uh, addressing people at uh, bark um after on the passing away of uh, dr homi baba it's quite a photograph was there something similar to like that in isro in 1971 when uh, when uh, vikram sara by passed away well that was a, something a very sad story because uh, he was very active like as his usual self every visit he will spend time holding discussion taking reviews visiting laboratory so on so forth and uh, that day also he continued uh, as i understand up to 11:30 to 12 uh, uh, on that day and went back to kolam he used to stay in kolam uh, one of the very good hotels there and morning generally he used to take tea at 6 o'clock but then uh, there was no response from him later on they found that uh, he is no more it was uh, something like a shock for everybody so it's i don't know how to explain that shock <laughs> something because the age was only 52 years right. you know very young for anyone to die that to at that dynamic uh, level right and uh, it was such a shock i don't think people could even react on that uh, right What are your personal favorites the photographs <laughs> you know there are many but then uh, one i would like to quote is that uh, in one of the pages uh, when we uh, unveiled the bust of sarabhai in front of uh, vikram sarabhai space center in 2003 incidentally that also happens to be the 40th year of uh, rocketry right because uh, 1963 21st november we take it as the birth of isro where we launched a tiny nike apache from shores of tumba, tumba. right and while doing that we also synchronized the unveiling of the bust of sarabhai right at that time we had almost everybody who is who who led the firm foundation for uh, isro and uh, there is one group photo taken uh, a uh, very near to our canteen i think that's one of the excellent pictures i like even today right it's got everybody who it has got everybody who have really put the firm foundation all right it's it's, it's something like a historical picture in all my right, opinion all right 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 and um, i think you conclude with looking of course to the future uh, what what does the future look like see while we tell the story <clears throat> Uh, we also would like to mention that what are the exciting and challenging programs uh, ahead of us for, for isro and uh, that includes chandrayaan series chandrayaan 2 specifically it had not launched at that point of time right. then we have the aditya program then we have the gaganyaan which has been uh, uh, approved by prime minister and announced on the independence day of this year yes so these are the programs uh, which are uh, 
uh, on the anvil and this is only to tell to our youngsters there are quite a number of good programs which are challenging and exciting too so that you can carry forward right thank you very much uh, my pleasure dr suresh it's been a pleasure talking to you okay and you know going on this picture journey <laughs> right, right right thank you sir thank you